Women's Sports Center now. One of the enduring stories of Notre Dame's undefeated regular season this past fall involved the tragic events surrounding Manti Teo, the middle linebacker who became the face of the football team, eventually finishing second in balloting for the Heisman Trophy. On September 12th, Manti Teo learned that his 72-year-old grandmother, Annette Santiago, had died. Teo said he was told just six hours later that his 22-year-old girlfriend, Lene Kakua, had lost her battle with leukemia. But Lene Kakua did not exist. This news was first reported by Deadspin.com. Manti Teo has responded to this report. He said, this is incredibly embarrassing to talk about, but over an extended period of time, I developed an emotional relationship with the woman I met online. We maintained what I thought to be an authentic relationship by communicating frequently online and on the phone, and I grew to care deeply about her. To realize that I was the victim of what was apparently someone's sick joke and constant lies was and is painful and humiliating. It further pains me that the grief I felt and the sympathies expressed to me at the time of my grandmother's death in September were in any way deepened by what I believe to be another significant loss in my life. I am enormously grateful for the support of my family, friends, and Notre Dame fans throughout this year. To think that I shared with them my happiness about my relationship and details that I thought to be true about her just makes me sick. I hope that people can understand how trying and confusing this whole experience has been. In retrospect, I obviously should have been much more cautious. If anything good comes of this, I hope it is that others will be far more guarded when they engage with people online than I was. Fortunately, I have many wonderful things in my life, and I'm looking forward to putting this painful experience behind me as I focus on preparing for the NFL draft. In an interview with ESPN's Gene Wojciechowski for College Game Day on October 2nd, 2012, here's what Teo said at the time about Kakua and her death. I see the most beautiful girl I've ever met. Not because of her physical beauty, but the beauty of her, of her character and who she is. Um, she is just that person that I turn to. And even though she was fighting leukemia and, you know, fighting various things, she always found time to serve someone else. And her biggest thing to me was always be, always be humble, always be humble and keep God as my number one closest friend. And as long as I strive to honor him, I'll be honoring her. And her whole thing was not about herself. And that's why we were so close. When you have somebody that you talk to every single day that you sleep with on the phone because she's she has, she's going through a lot of things and the only way that she can sleep is if she knows that you're on the other side of the phone. And you do that every single night, every single night for the past four months. And all of a sudden it's silence. That silence really eats at you. And it's, it, it, it's, eat, it's eating at me and it continues to eat at me, but... You know, that's where faith comes in. Why me? Why them? Why all of them one day? This is six hours ago. I just found my grandma passed away. And you take, you know, the love of my life. Um, it's a lot of questions. And, uh, yeah, it was a very dark time. Once in a while I have questions, you know, but not Why? Just what would it be like? I wonder how it would be like if she was still here. I wonder what tonight would be like if, you know, we talked about her day. I don't know. I wonder what she's doing. You know, I wonder how she's doing. I know, well, I know she's doing fine. I know she's happy. Um, but a lot of, I wonder, it's not why. Do you remember the last thing you guys talked about? We're actually talking about my grandma. She was trying to console me. I was just out of it. And uh, last thing she said to me was, I love you. 
Notre Dame, in its statement today, said the following. On December 26, Notre Dame coaches were informed by Manti Teo and his parents that Manti had been the victim of what appears to be a hoax in which someone using the fictitious name Lene Kakua apparently ingratiated herself with Manti and then conspired with others to lead him to believe she had tragically died of leukemia. The university immediately initiated an investigation to assist Manti and his family in discovering the motive for and nature of this hoax. While the proper authorities will continue to investigate this troubling matter, this appears to be, at a minimum, a sad and very cruel deception to entertain its perpetrators. Gene Wojciechowski uh, joins us now. And Gene, you spoke to Manti Teo on October 2nd, as we saw. What is your reaction to this news today? I'm, I'm reattaching my jaw. Uh, it's, um, it's like hearing Notre Dame is going to drop football. It's, it's stunning. It's bizarre. It's one of the weirdest, saddest stories uh, I've, I've ever come across. Uh, I mean, people... Lindsay, people voted for Manti Teo for the Heisman partly because of the strength of his character. And now, at least on some level, you have to question his judgment, his character, his honesty even. It's just too bizarre of a story. You, you wouldn't think you could make something like this up, but apparently somebody can. In retrospect, looking back at your interview with him, was there anything from that that would give you pause for any reason? Well, you know, I, I did. I sat across from him, and I was I was moved by his story, and it was heartbreaking, and it was heartwarming, and as it turns out, it was totally untrue. But short of asking to see a death, a death certificate, I'm not sure what most people would do differently in that case. But in in researching it before I wrote the script, I remember trying to find an obituary uh, for his girlfriend, and, and could not and couldn't find any record of, of this car accident, but we had asked Manti, could we contact Lene's family? And he said the family would prefer not to be contacted. Could we, could we have some photos of Lene? He said the family would prefer not to provide those. And so in that instance, and at that moment, you simply think that you have to respect those wishes, but in retrospect, you can see where some of those those things simply weren't adding up to make sense. Easy to say now, at the time, it never enters your mind that somebody was involved in that sort of, that kind of hoax. And we've heard Manti, Manti's statement that he says it was a hoax. You said how surprised you are. What would your next question be in this scenario? I guess to, to Manti, it would be how could you be so naive? Or if on some level he was complicit on this, and let's remember Notre Dame statement says on December 26th the school was informed of this, I would ask why did Notre Dame not get ahead of this story if they knew about it on December 26th? And the man tie would say, how, how could you be so naive about this? And I guess uh, on some level we were all naive about it. We wanted to believe it so much, and it was such a wonderful story uh, in, in a sense that I, I think we all just automatically believed it to be true. Gene, were there any other details that he shared with you about the nature of their relationship, about any times that they were actually together? What he, what you heard in the in the piece itself uh, was the sort of at the core of, of what he said. It was he made it very clear that they had a relationship. To what extent, um, I, I can't speak to that, but it. it it was, according to him, a very deep, uh, involved, emotional uh, relationship that he felt he could share anything with her, and, and he did. And so when he uses the words embarrassed and, and, I, and, I guess, to an extent humiliated, certainly I can see that. I hope for his sake that, that he's telling the truth and this is the actual truth, because um, if it isn't, it, it, it becomes a, a national punchline. But again... For his sake, I, I hope that, that as horrible as it is, that he was the victim in this and, and not a, a sort of a, a party to it. 
Jean Wojciechowski with the latest on Manti Teo. We appreciate your insights, Jean. We'll have much more on this story coming up in our show and as the night continues here on SportsCenter.